so um, people in white is a movie in which people suffering from mental is illness are talking about their experiences with people who have treated them. Uh, in the film the patients meet within a situation which reminds about the group therapy. They talk about their experiences with the doctors and therapists and some of the most kind of important situations they have went through in their treatment they are going to reenact together. Every patient get to act a patient and a doctor, the roles uh, changes all the time. This film, the film People in White, um, talks about the relationship between patient or client and the doctor, but it shows this relationship from the very subjective point of view of the patient or client. Uh, we often work with open calls, and so, so did we with this movie. Actually, what we were surprised was that from these 15 people who came to the interviews, actually very many were ready to play in front of camera or tell their story again for the camera. A lot of participants, the patients and clients, they, they really felt quite missionary about telling their story because it might really help the public discussion, it might really help the position of uh, mental ill people in society. Um, I can say it more short. I think in, in documentary films a lot has happened also during the last years so that I mean people acknowledge that any film situation is kind of staged or a construction you know when you put a camera somewhere and you place people and you have a you know camera in front of the face and you ask question and later you edit this total construction and by us using actors and kind of making it open this is a constructed situation I think the film becomes more authentic in some way than if he would pretend this is like a, you know we are sneaking into a therapy session and we just follow we don't interfere at all you know we are just capturing what's going on also one reason why we like to stage uh, the to reenact uh, some of the happenings which they've been through is to bring a le level of um, thinking of the roles of patients and doctors by very literally uh, asking them to play different roles. For me that's really one big part of the movie to think about what uh, things are kind of expected to belong to the role of a patient and to belong to the role of a therapist. I, I guess one, one reason why we made the movie was also somehow to give actually space to the patients that they can tell their story and that we want we want to listen to them because usually it's the doctors who tell the story you know, it's their point of view it's a power position the the fact that the film is so totally 100 percent subjective point of view of, of the patients and clients have uh, created a lot of emotions within people who have seen it so far and it's very interesting uh, that this kind of very uh, strong choice of a point of view is is creating so much uh, so much reactions so if one doctor you know goes to television and tells about things this is you know what influences opinion and so actually you must make hundred movies from patient point of view to kind of balanced it out so I think you can't make enough movies about this from this point of view.